Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today. This is Braxton with MLC CAD Systems and today we're gonna to check out the enhancements for SOLIDWORKS PDM in 2024. PDM has always been an excellent tool in helping us manage our revisions for our designs throughout our product's life cycle utilizing workflows. Workflows are also a great way to see where our design is at within our development process. Here we have our shock tower assembly currently pending approval for revision B. Now as the reviewer for this change, I realized there was an opportunity for some cost saving measures by removing some material. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove, reject the changes on the assembly. And I really only have one change I wanna to make to one part. So I'm gonna just keep the rest in the current state. Uh, but since I'm going to be the one incorporating the changes, I'm going to need to ultimately check these out as well. New in 2024, we can now check out directly from the transition dialog. Assembly visualization has always been a great tool to help us visually see on our model, you know, where mass may be centralized or uh, materials applied to specific components. New in 2024, we can now bring in PDM variables. And this includes system as well as user generated variables. As you can see here, I have revision and project name included. So nice way to sort by the state, maybe even group by identical to have colors for each state and visually see what uh, designs or what models are currently undergoing a change. And this can even be saved out as a display state to refer back to later on. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in the design changes to reduce the uh, material used on the, that component. And then I'll finalize the design by checking it in. And as a reviewer, I'm going to go ahead and provide my manager approval to release revision B. As we work in PDM, our actions are being monitored by the file history. And so we can always see when users check in a file or when revisions are being released. And now in 2024, we can see when files have been checked out by a user. If you are one that works with older versions of your files, you'll be happy to know that the version tab has been enhanced to include information about the latest version in the upper half, as well as information about the locally cached version in the lower half. Named build materials have also been enhanced to include hidden columns as deleted in the bond comparison. And it's easier than ever to unhide hidden columns, as well as make changes to multiple rows with one command. User access permissions are now also maintained with the contains and where used tabs, as well as the treehouse view on these tabs. Web2 in SOLIDWORKS PDM 2024 has also received some enhancements for the interface. We now switch to the grid view to help visually identify our designs. Additionally, the contains and where used tab now include new icons to help indicate multi-body parts. Furthermore, in Web 2, if we right click on a file within the list view, we can now jump immediately to the corresponding tab. And finally, if you are one that works with older versions within Web 2, we now have the ability to download older versions. For those who administrate PDM for your company, the administration tool has also seen some enhancements in 2024. 
We can now see which vaults we are signed into by showing the username that we are logged in as next to the vault within the admin tool. The license node has been split into license usage and server list and a corresponding administrative permission to update that license server is now included in the administrative permissions. Earlier, we saw the assembly visualization listing of variables. This is where we can administrate which variables are available to that list and apply permissions to the users or groups. Maintaining your workflows is also easier than ever now that we can incorporate the workflow state archive. If you no longer have the use for a state, we can right click on it now and choose to archive it. To bring it back in, we can always just drag and drop within the workflow. Now, you may have noticed this already. It was actually incorporated in SOLIDWORKS 2023 Service Pack 2. So if you're on that version currently, you can go ahead and take advantage of this enhancement.